Yo, it's your boy Jet Mint. I'm about to give away this new Cyclops. Yo, 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 what are yo. you doing, man? Get the hell out of here. Yo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nobody's giving away a Cyclops statue. Everybody relax. Well, at least not in this video. What's going on, Geminites? It's your boy, Jim Mint. As you can see, we have the two most recent Cyclops statues on the desk, and we're going to do an in-depth comparison. We have the latest premium format from Sideshow Collectibles and the most recent XM Studios release, uh, the version B with both torsos. Go ahead and do me a favor and hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video, and hit the like if you enjoy the content here. We're going to go ahead and rank these guys in six categories. We have price, edition size, we have the concept, the design, the paint, and then I'm going to give my overall thoughts on the pieces. This is going to be a tough one. They're very similar as you can see, and it's going to come down to the finish line on this one. So first, let's talk about the price. The Sideshow Collectibles Premium Format retails at $580. Uh, the shipping on this was about $35, so you're in at just over $600 if you live in the United States. The XM Studios Version B retails at about $930 USD. Uh, if you got version A, which we'll talk about, not a lot of people did, that doesn't come with this torso or this base, it was about $850. So the price isn't as far off as it seems. It's just that if you live in, in the United States, the estimated shipping for this guy was about $230. So it puts you in at over $1,000 for this one, just about $600 for this one if you live in the States. Now, if you're overseas, it might cost as much to ship the Sideshow as it does the XM, but for me and for a majority of the viewers, Sideshow is clearly the winner with the lower price uh, when it comes to this category. So give this W to Sideshow. Now let's talk edition size. The big thing with XM Studios is they, they, they tend to have a higher retail price, but they tend to have a lower ES, which kind of evens out as far as the value of the piece or, or how it retains value. The Sideshow Cyclops is one of the only, actually, it's the only X-Men piece uh, of their new wave that doesn't have an exclusive. They just made 1,250 of this piece, and that's the total edition size. Now, Cyclops gets a little tricky. The version A that does not come with this torso, there are only 140. That's the edition size, 140. Version B with both torsos has an edition size of 850. So technically, you're looking at an ES of about 990 for the XM Studios. So XM does win in this category of edition size by having the lower ES. However, it's not by that much. You're talking about uh, about 300 pieces difference. All right, so now we're all tied up and it's pretty much what everybody would have thought for those, ca uh, for those categories. But now we're gonna talk about the concept and this is where it gets a little tricky. It's Cyclops in a semi-museum pose, kind of you know using his mutant ability uh, with a low footprint standard base. This base is a rocky snow base that's made to go with other statues in the X-Men line, like Jean Grey and Sabretooth. This is a Sentinel rubble base, which is meant to go with the other Sentinel rubble bases from the XM Studio line. So the concepts are so similar here, it wouldn't be fair to not just give it a tie. I'm going to say this one's even. It's basically the same concept. <laughs> one leg up, one leg back, except for... Uh, Cyclops has one arm up, but we're going to go into the overall design. The concept is basically the same, and they're going to get a tie, but let's go to the design here. So, now the design is very similar here as well. You have a Jim Lee-inspired, almost X-Men animated series-inspired costume. Uh, you have a different base, which we'll talk about, and you have a lot of different switch-out options for both pieces. The Sideshow one comes with two portraits, but it has three visors that are all interchangeable. So you can uh, have an optic blast uh, where there's just a little bit coming out of the corner, or you can have where he's blasting uh, an actual piece of translucent resin, and they're inter interchangeable on both portraits. Now looking at the XM one, uh, I did try. You are not able to put this portrait onto this body. It doesn't work. The magnets are reversed. But this one has two torsos for version B two head sculpts, and a light-up feature for the visor, which I still don't have, but just picture that slightly brighter and redder. So uh, they're kind of evenly matched with the switch-outs. As far as the design, the XM Studios piece definitely has more of an intricate design when it comes to the base and the costume. Looking at Cyclops from the XM side, he's got a lot more line work in his uh, costume, a lot more textures going on. There are just more intricacies in his costume, 
whereas the sideshow one is simpler. But see, the problem is that doesn't mean that it lacks because it gives you more of an animated series vibe. He has mostly smooth blues, very little uh, textures, but only on his knees, his elbows, and some line work. Uh, a lot less detail in the straps that go over his shoulders. I would say the pouches are kind of evenly matched, although uh, there's more paint details on the XM and, and just more details all around. Now, the base is also much more detailed in the XM, but I don't know if that's a bonus. I feel like this construction site type of rubble with pieces of a Sentinel that it's hard to kind of tell what pieces they are. I don't know if that's necessarily better. It kind of looks a little bit jumbled and that's really my beef with the XM Studios X-Men line. It's kind of like a little messy, right? The Sideshow one is very simple, but I think it tells a better story. You have uh, Cyclops has used his optic blast and carved a path in between this mountain. You have snow on both sides where he's standing. You have the snow going onto the boots, so a lot of attention to detail there. The design is very tough. I'm going to give the design to Sideshow because I do think that the Sideshow portraits are better. I like the optic blast coming out and, and, being, uh, and showing more depth. Uh, as opposed to just a light up feature, which I appreciate, but this is kind of taking it to the next level where light up features kind of have been done already. I do like the portraits better, and when we jump into paint, we'll expand on that a little bit more. But I do think the sculpt on the hair uh, looks better. I do think that the visor looks better with that yellow look. It matches his costume more, whereas I don't know if I'm really digging the gold look as much. And I think I appreciate the base a little bit more. It is simpler, but it has good details in contrast with the gray rock to the white snow to the kind of burnt, singed area in between. Whereas this one kind of has a lot of unnecessary rocks, uh, construction site pieces, and again, sentinel pieces that you can't really tell which part of the sentinel they are. All right, now let's talk about paint. As you guys can see, the paint job looks very similar on both of these guys. It's gonna be really hard to, to pick a clear winner here. Uh, they both have great paint on the base, right? I think the Sentinel pieces, the way that they have that blue and purple metallic look, but they look weathered, they are damaged. Uh, I think that looks great. I like the attention to detail on the singed uh, beams here. I think that looks good. Uh, but I also think that the snow looks good. I think the snow with the hints of blues, with the singed rock in the middle, with the gray textures of the rock, I think that looks good. Uh, the paint jobs on both of these pieces look good. I think that the blues are very similar. Neither one is better than the other one. Same with the yellows. I mean, they're almost the same colors. The only thing I do prefer, like I mentioned on the design, is I like the painted yellow visor better than the gold look. But I'm going to have to give paint a tie on this one. I mean, there's just nothing that really makes one better than the other. I, I think that uh, I think they're evenly matched here. So far, I think Sideshow's up one, right? We have Sideshow on the price. We have XM on the edition size. They're tied on the concept. The design went to Sideshow, and the paint was tied. So now the overall impressions are either going to make this a tie or give it to Sideshow. And no matter what I did in this video, the community was going to be split. I can already tell from comments on the review of this guy. Half of you guys think the Sideshow's way better. Half of you guys think that the XM Studios is way better. But when I give my overall thoughts, I think where the, the XM Studio piece lacks is in its pose, right? So, and it's a shame because it has two poses. So on, on this pose, on the A version, the torso looks a little bit elongated and it looks a little bit unnatural. Now I do think it's really cool that they have a separate base here to display the second torso, that works. But something about the B torso doesn't really sit right with me. I'm not really a big fan on how the B torso kind of looks like he's leaning to the right a little bit. I would have much rather him just being straight up and down. That lean throws me off a little bit. And um, although I do like the pose and I like the concept with this pose, I don't know if it was really executed uh, to where I liked it. Uh, I definitely like the uh, sideshow portraits better. If I look at the uh, the paint job... I think that it has a more realistic flesh tone. I like the five o'clock shadow. I like the design of the visor and the optic blast more than I do the light up feature. I personally never use light up features, but I would definitely switch out these visors and give him a different look. If you would have mixed these together, you would have had the perfect Cyclops statue. If you would have had this arm going like this for a switch out option here, or if you would have given these 
this piece, these portraits, I think you would have had the perfect Cyclops. But for me, on my overall opinion, I think that I would go with this one. I think he wins because I like the portraits better and I like the different switch outs better than on the XM. And I like the, the costume. I, I mean, I think it screams 90s nostalgia for me. It looks like the X-Men animated series. And so does this one. This just looks more, moder more modernized and more detailed. But for me, I think the Sideshow has the best bang for your buck with the money uh, as far as the cost. The addition size is very similar. It's not like this one had a 300 ES, which, which might have made a little bit of a difference. And, and those head sculpts as well. So guys, tough call, and it's super unbiased. I mean, I actually sell this piece on my online shop, so I could have easily said, it's XM, everybody should buy it, uh, but I think it sold out anyway. But no, I just, you know, breaking down the categories and talking about what I liked and I didn't like, um, it goes to Sideshow. Uh, I don't want to hear your comments below because I know exactly where they're going to be. Half of you are going to agree with me, half of you are going to disagree with me, and that's okay. That's the beauty of collecting. And that's why it's good to have these options because everybody has their own preferences. Uh, they both pair well, uh, really well, with the rest of the X-Men statues. I showed that in my review. I'll probably show the pictures here as well. But um, I think you're really good either way. You know, it's just that the, the Sideshow one's going to be cheaper. And personally, I prefer these options. So, all right, let me stop rambling. Uh, I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch these videos. Go ahead and do me a favor and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss one. Hit the notification bell. Hit the like button, and you guys stay minty fresh. Peace.